in the last video we posted my brother and I went fishing on my little John boat and well there's some slime we went crappy fishing oh oh that might be a little bigger yeah that's a little bigger don't don't come off that's a keeper size oh that's a big one oh yeah there we go finally that's a nice one that's a real nice one took all day but we got one that wants to come home for the hot oil bath we actually had a great day crappy fishing but none of the fish were that big this is the biggest one is 10 inches we let a lot go that were nine inches but in this video we're going to do a catch well we already did the catch we're going to do the clean and cooking process of crappy we're actually going to make some crappy tacos we have some large shells so they're probably going to be more like crappy burritos we want to have max's family over too and since we only kept four little fish i checked in the freezer to see what else we had in there all right redfish that'll work and that looks like catfish gotta get that out of there got some redfish and some catfish too we already have one of the little ones filleted up we're gonna go ahead and show you how we're gonna do this or how I'm gonna do this if you guys don't have a bubble blade and you flay a lot of fish I suggest uh, getting one I'll link them in the description if you're curious but put a little incision there and then I did not scale this fish because we're gonna keep the scales on and get that started there a little bit and this one once we do that I'm just gonna go all the way through the rib cage if I can figure out where I am there we go all the way through and we're just gonna Work the knife right down the spine. And we're going to leave that attached there. I'm going to come back up this way a little bit. Never cut towards yourself, but that's what I do. Finish these ribs off here a little bit. And then we flip that over and you use your scales and your skin and just go right down the line. Unfortunately, this is a female as you can see by the eggs here didn't want to keep that but That's off of there, and then you just take out your rib cage I'm Sure all the other ones are males. This is the biggest one we caught so It's a female should have let her spawn And there's your little delicious nugget We got going on there is that a worm we got, got got worms in there cut that off beautiful little fillet put it over here Finish cleaning up these little fishies. I'll see you in the kitchen. Well, it's snowing now, so good thing we cleaned up these little fishies when we did. It sucks filleting little fish. You usually just cut the heads off, gut them, and pan fry them. But we, we did our best. We made some little tiny fillets here. They're just soaking in a little uh, egg. We got the redfish here soaking in the same thing. The kids are getting some beer battered catfish. That's what they love the best. This is just beer, flour, and old bay. We're going to try a low carb version of a fry. So we got some crushed up pork rinds in here. We're actually going to add some Caribbean jerk seasoning to that. So I don't know if I want to put this whole thing in here yet or not, but we'll put a little bit in there and shake that around. Eh, maybe a little more, maybe about half of the packet. And we're going to do the uh, redfish and the crappy in this. And as soon as the oil heats up, Actually, let's throw some crappy in here now for our crappy Mexican dinner. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to... I have fried with pork rinds before. I mean, it comes out kind of like panko. But I haven't done it like this before. Eh, it's sticking. Hopefully it stays on there. As soon as the oil heats up, we'll throw them in the oil. We got the beer batter catfish nuggets frying. Now we're going to see if this batter here holds together. Oil's hot enough. Took a little while to get the, uh, the old cast iron going. It looks like the batter's staying on there, so that's good. This is all crappy. For our crappy burritos we're going to be eating for dinner. Hopefully the uh, pork rinds stay on there. If not, I mean, we're going to be drenching it in cheese and sour cream and other fun things, so... We'll flip them around a few times and pull them out. The beer batter catfish nuggets are so yummy. 
We just put the rest of them in. We gotta pull out these crappy. They do not take long. Just let me reach around you. Okay. So little. Little nuggets. Little crappy nuggets <laughs> of joy. When you fry with the pork rinds, like the color of them are like so like so different than like flour. I mean they're beer battered too, so let me pull out the rest of these. We'll make a a crappy taco burrito here in a second. Tell Uncle Kurt what you think. It's it good. good. Oh, that sounds crispy. Oh, I miss flour. Why don't I have a tree? <laughs> hmm? Why don't I have a tree? It's not Christmas anymore, baby. Why don't I have a Christmas I have tree? Kids time. You got the kids over here eating by the sofa. What's going on over here? You made a mess. Mm. Yeah. That's your favorite stuff, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Catfish nuggets. Mm -hmm. Everybody enjoying your fish, catfish nuggets and chips? Fish and chips? Fish and chips! Why are you still in your pajamas? It's like bed and old. I guess that works. It was pajama day at school. It was a house day today. Pajamas at school? Why isn't he in his pajamas? Pajama day. Pajama day? All right, let's go make a taco. Before we make the tacos, we're actually going to do a little taste test of the crappy flavored Caribbean jerk pork rind. <laughs> Whatever this is. I don't think it's crappy at all. Not, not one bit. It's delicious. It's a lot of work. Yeah. For a lot of fishing for a little bit of meat, but it's nice and flaky. Let's Mom. make a taco. Delicious. For those of you out there that are carb conscious, they make the low carb wraps, but these protein plant powered things are only three net carbs, and the low carb wraps are four. So, little suggestion, try these out. They're actually really good. We've got our pan heated up. I'm going to hit that with a little bit of spray. We're going to heat up our soft shell. The key is to get a little crispy and hot on both sides. And if you didn't know, shredded cheese, when it comes in a bag like this, actually has carbohydrates in it. They use a starch so it doesn't stick together. Normally we shred our cheese, but we didn't have time today. So we're going to have a little bit of carbs with that cheese. Put a little bit of cheese on there. Yes, sir. That's not enough. I like me some cheese. That's like... Put that on there too. So this is the low carb redfish. This is beer batter redfish because it wasn't sticking too well. That's all the yummy beer batter catfish. And this is our crappy. So we're gonna take a little bit of crappy, throw them on there now to make our crappy burrito. Uh, yeah, that's about right. Then I'm gonna hit that with a little sriracha. Is that like a spicy? For those not worried about their carbs, we have some Spanish rice and black beans and some pineapple salsa. I'm going with the spicy salsa. I just said I like spice. A little spicy salsa on there. This is actually bacon spicy salsa. It's delicious. At this point, we're going to pull it off of there because we don't want to stack it up too much. Boop. And the next person getting there, we're going to top that with some avocado, some good fats, some lettuce. Some sour cream. And that is a delicious crappy burrito fish taco caught by Max and myself, cleaned and cooked in front of your eyes. Now my friends, tasty biscuit. If you guys never had fish tacos, it's off the hook. Obviously, you can do this any which way you want. I have white stuff all over my face. Nothing new. <laughs> uh, we're going to enjoy the rest of our evening. Everybody's being as patient as they can so we can film this silly little video. If you like this video... Alright guys, see you next time. Thanks for watching. God bless. You're going half crappy and half beer battered redfish? Mix it up, baby. What are you doing? You getting after it too? You having some fish tacos? I want to try some some redfish. If you're curious about crappy, if you never had crappy, it's like the most mild, flaky, soft fish you can eat. Oh normal God. people call it crappy, but crappy. we're not normal. It's crappy.
Redfish is delicious. This is from October. The catfish, I think, is from last year. I thought we had some. <laughs> I thought we had some snakehead in there, but that don't last too long around here. Mm. I need to make another taco burrito. Crappy dinner. Mm, I'm hungry. Is that the crappy side or the redfish side? Oh, crappy. Mm. <laughs> oh, crappy. <laughs> What's up, Cal? You, you photo bombing? Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of the uh, that batter though with the pork the pork rinds? <laughs> it works. Mm -hmm. It works for us stupid people that are on diets. I'm not a low carb guy. No, it's because you're. I'm married. I don't care if I'm getting fat. You're, you're a schmedium for life. I'm a schmedium for life. <laughs>